Hey everybody! Surprise! Oh, forgot to put my microphone on. Hold on. Okay, maybe you can hear me better now. Um, so it's my surprise just in case video. Um, you know, I don't necessarily have a normal time for those. But um, this is what I'm going to case. Isn't it beautiful? It's a card my daughter purchased for me. Yes, I know, my daughter buys cards. I know. Trust me, it kills me. Kills me. They're always beautiful. But yeah, she she craft, she did some crafting for a short time, but not for long enough, in my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, I just fell in love with this card, and I've been holding on to it since my birthday back in May. Uh, when she sent it to me, because I thought this is just a, a pretty card and I knew I could recreate it. So here's my uh, test. So isn't that pretty? It's like a big mess. So I just want you to see what I do. I kind of test it out. Um, so now here is what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot to grab actual cardstock. That would help, right? Okay. <laughs> You know, these just in case, I really do just, um, like, pop on. I never really know exactly what I'm going to do. But um, if you've never seen a just in case before, C-A-S-E stands for copy and stamp everything. So I'm copying this, and I'm going to stamp my design. So let me get started. Let me show you what I decided to use. I'm using the Forever Fern stamps and the Art Gallery stamps, and they have dies. The Hello Fern has these dies, and uh, the Art Gallery has these dies. So I'll be using this die and this die. I'm not, I'm not using any of the dies from the Forever Fern set this time. And I did pre-cut, and I actually tore accidentally some pieces that I'm going to be using for matting when I do my stamping. All right, so here goes. I am actually going to start with this design and I am using Sew Saffron. And of course my card is not gonna look exactly the same, but that's the joy of casing something, right? So I am going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp one Whoops, double-sided. <laughs> I'm gonna stamp one kind of right about there. And I'm not worried too much about the ends because I know it's gonna be covered. And then I'm gonna stamp another one right about there. Okay, looks terrible. I know, don't worry, I'm gonna be covering stuff. And if it looks, oh, that does look terrible. All right, let me try that again. Let me grab another one. All right, let me try that again. Perfection, as you know, is overrated. I am gonna get rid of some of that. Lighten that up a little bit. Yes, I do always have inky fingers. It's a little bit scary, but there it is. Get rid of some of these too, or lighten them up anyway. Okay clean off my fingers a little bit so there we go I have that started and then I did another one and I I cut it out so I'm going to show you that in a minute but I want to show you that um there's um there's this little stamp right here that goes with this or you could use it separately if you want so I'm going to use some calypso coral to highlight some of the parts of this flower because I noticed that like this one is what I was kind of sort of kind of sort of copying of course it is not the same of course not oh, that wasn't very even but that's okay so there's that and then I knew that I wanted some more flowers on there I don't want them as dark so I'm going to stamp this off and I'm going to stamp it right there. And then I'm going to start putting in some of my greens. So I have three different greens I am using today. 
granny apple green I'll old olive and mossy meadow and mossy meadow I am actually going to um, stamp the sentiment which is just hello because my mother and my mother-in-law have passed so I don't need a mom card so I'm just gonna stamp hello in that and I'm gonna wait a minute because I'm not ready to do that that green yet I'm gonna start with this um, granny apple green and that is for these pieces here to kind of mimic I thought that was pretty close right I mean you know it's not bad so and I'm not gonna worry about it going over right here I'm not going to worry about my leaves um, going over each other either. Sometimes you just have to do stuff and, and let it be fun. Oh, I want to mat these first. Oopsie. So let me cover these. So I, I stamped these on just regular paper and I cut them out. And you will see while I lay them down that they are not cut exact. And that's okay because if you if you have it hanging over, you're going to end up with a white edge, which I might I might still end up with that. It could happen, but I I'm you know I can't believe I tore this, but you know it's a it was a really skinny spot, so it got torn. <laughs> hey, it happens, and you know what? Handmade stuff is handmade stuff. We aren't going to freak out about it, right? Because it's handmade. And I want some here, I think, right there. And I'm going to do another one off this way. So, so far it looks like a big mess. I know, I know, I know, I know. But um, you, I think you're going to like it when I'm done. I'm going to try and move some of my stuff out of the way here because I've got, I got stuff going on. All right, now I'm going to take the old olive. I probably should have cut something out for that. Oh, maybe I will. I'm going to take this piece right here. Sorry you have to watch me cut. Oh, that was good, Carrie. Grab my snips. And again, I'm not worrying about perfection, obviously, or I wouldn't have torn it so poorly. But, um, and by the way, when you're cutting stuff, you should move the item more than your um, scissors let it roll in your fingers and I am by no means like really good at fussy cutting in fact I'm probably really bad at fussy cutting so um, don't let this stuff stress you out you know your friends are going to be impressed with your home handmade cards my friend told me to stop saying homemade cards because homemade sounds like you just don't know what you're doing, but handmade makes it sound more elegant. So there's another little tip for you. <laughs> become, become handmaids. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? No, <laughs> I don't want to be a handmaid, especially if you watch A Handmaid's Tale. Thank you. No, thank you. Do any of you guys watch that? I watch it. It's freaky, freaky, freaky. All right, I need a little temporary adhesive, so let me grab that real quick. Huh, maybe not. There we go. That was a very little, I don't know if that's going to stay. All right, so now I'm just going to stick that over that too. So that when I ink, I'm going to do some of these lighter and some of them darker. I'm going to put that one in there. And we'll do a dark one here. And a dark one there. And a light one there. Okay, so that's that green. I guess I need one more at the top too, but I want it to be... Well, I already have a light one, so let's do a dark one up there. Okay. Now... That is Old Olive. So now I am going to take gar um, Mo Mossy Meadow, which is one of our darkest greens that we have. And I'm going to add that too. And I'm not going to worry too much about it going over stuff. I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it. Because it, see, it's so dark 
that you can't really tell that it has gone over things. And some right there. Then you will see. See how it's gone over that, but it doesn't matter because it's um, it's you can't, you know it doesn't I don't know it just doesn't matter. So I think that's about right so far. And I am going to peel these away. My poor torn up one. Okay, so there's that so far. And then I wanted the flower in the middle. So what I did was I used Melon Mambo and I'm using a, a scrap of cardstock. And I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with this. These two go together. It's easier to line up if you start with the um, dark section first. And then I am going to stamp that off and add that over the top and then see you get that really pretty two-tone and yet I'm only using one color. They both came from the same color. So that's kind of cool. Again, that's Melon Mambo. And through the art of, I already did it, I cut it out. And I also cut out another one of the um, these little thingies. So now I am going to, I didn't grab a card base. I, I have my um, self not together, apparently. So uh, give me a second. Let me see if I can grab it. No guarantees. I was going to do it all on white, but I think, I think I might do it on, hmm. I think I'm going to do it on, I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, my mic is hanging right now. It's not even around my neck. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when I do um, these just in case videos, uh, they really are like like a whimsical last minute. Oh, hey, you know what? Let's finally do that. And okay, let's make a video. And poof, here I am. So um, this is Daffodil Delight. So. When I'm done, I'm going to, I think, put it on there. I think that'll be pretty. But let's see first when we finish what we're going to do. So I am going to take this, I think, and put it right there. I think I like that. Let me see. Let me see. It kind of hides that, doesn't it? But I don't mind it. Okay, because this card, um, this card has some up just actually two and then it had the butterfly i have a stamp that i could have done the butterfly and cut it out but i just decided to skip that because this card's a whole lot bigger than my card right so um let me let me add this on and then we will see what i'm doing so i'm going to go ahead and attach this if you wanted to you could put ribbon or something on it and this card is very very glittery and I thought about trying to stamp it on um, some of our glittery paper, but that doesn't always stamp well. Um, sometimes it does, you know, it for me, I don't know, it might be fine for you. Uh, and then I thought about covering the whole thing in crystal effects, which might be, you know, that could be interesting. So look at how happy this card is. This would be a pretty card in the springtime. As you can see, I used an, an old piece of Whisper White. So now here's my decision. I have to decide how much do I want to stick out? Maybe not very much. Let me see. I'm going to, like nobody faint, but I'm going to just cut this apart because why not? So I'm just cutting away what I don't want on there. And I'm gonna save this leaf and stuff just so that I have some way to, well, I'm gonna put it on dimensional, so not going to worry about that either. So I'm just going to put these two on there like so, I think, because I don't really want to cover that. That's the only one like that. So um, I'm going to put this on Stampin' Dimensionals. And like I said, I used a scrap piece when I made this. So that's why you see other um, 
stamping on the back of it. I don't throw anything away. It's frightening. Well, I mean, I do, but it like takes me a long time to say, all right, just throw that piece away. How about you guys? Do you guys do that? Um, also, if you are watching me, let me know. Um, say hello. Let me know if you like this project. And um, tell me if this is your first time watching. I really like to know um, when I have some new friends. Um, I hope that you follow me on my page. Uh, if you're watching this where someone else has shared it, my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash memory inkers. My Stampin' Up! website is memoryinkers.com. My email is memoryinkers at att.net. Get the theme here. <laughs> and this is my Stampin' Up! hostess code. It's new. It's new as of the first. TQWDS49F. Um, so I'm putting... Mini Stampin' Dimensionals on here. Now that's what's on here. So I want this one to be up a little bit. So I'm taking off these and then I'm going to add a second level of dimensionals onto this card, onto this flower. And they didn't do that with this, um, with the original card, but the flowers were farther apart where mine are going to be really, really close to each other. So now I can just top these whoops so the whole idea behind um, just in case videos is to remind you that ideas are everywhere they are everywhere um, I've cut out magazine articles that were about like I had I had one that was a little boy staring at a pile of peas peas the, the vegetable and he didn't want to eat them, so he had this really sad face on it. But the colors were just amazing, and I still have that somewhere um, because I have I have copied the colors, not necessarily the design, because who wants a card with a big pile of peas on it? Let's be honest. I mean, you know, some people might. I really like peas, <laughs> but I don't think I want a card with them on him. But um, yeah, so um, so that's what that's what I did with that. And that's going to be over top of that one, so I don't know that I wanted two on there. Oh well, we're just going to fake it. And we're going to set that right there. So, there is my copy of the card. What do you think? Um, they do have some bling on here, so I think I need to add some bling. What do you think? I think bling is always a good idea. Um, and I don't know if you can see it on there, but there's bling in all the centers of almost all the flowers. Not all of them, but a darn lot of them. So I'm just going to use these tiny ones. And this is from the um, Champagne Rhinestone Jewels. Oops. See, I don't have my take your pick handy. And so they don't work as well on my snips as they do on my um, take your pick tool. They work. It works. But see, I'm struggling here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, golly. So if this is your first time watching, yeah, I'm always like this. If you were looking for the perfect demonstrator, you're not done looking because it's not me. I just like to have too much fun to be worried about perfectionism. That's just boring. So I don't want to have four on here because you should have an uneven number. So I'm going to stick shove one more into the center of this flower and maybe I'll stick some around not necessarily on the flowers when you're the hello come on look at this ah, yeah yeah I'm gonna put one up there and one more so I can keep an uneven number on my card I think I will put it right there. So, there you go. I copied and stamped everything from a beautiful card from my daughter into this card. What do you think? Let me know if you like it. I would love to hear about that. Um, I will be back on Saturday for a Saturday sip. Um, bingo is next week for those of you who have ordered the bingo kit. 
Um, you'll be able to play bingo. Um, I will be having a free make along coming up, I think in two weeks. Um, but I haven't even posted anything about it yet. So I've got to, I've got to get on that. But I've been, um, I had, I had volume and then I had um, the Stampin' Up! Leaders convention and, and I'm making excuses, but it's actually the truth is that I've been so busy. So, um, so here's what my process was, just so you know. I started with my card from my daughter. I kind of played around to see what I would like and how it would look. And of course, it does not look exactly the same, but it's pretty close. And so then I came up with this design. So I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you'll be back and that you'll follow me. Thanks, everybody. Bye.